All right. I want to give all praises to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, and to His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shah, and in the name of the Holy Spirit, the Rakakwadash. I want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, who teach and rule well, who are being a great example for us younger brothers that's coming into this truth. I want to give peace, blessings, salutations to the hopeful elect. To you, I want to say Shalom. It's your brother Lakama coming to you with another quick lesson through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah. I'm entitled this lesson, Hands Off Our Bible. What has thou to do to declare these statues? Yeah, man, because you other nations, man, the covenant weren't, weren't made with y'all, man. The old covenant, nor the new covenant, man. The covenants were only made to the children of Israel, man. And I'm explain that. But first, I want to get that word covenant. I got it queued up in the blue letter. All right, the word covenant. Strong's H1284. Strong's H1285. Berith. 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 I said that number wrong. It was H1285. So like you. But my point. Covenant, alliance, pledge between men, treaty, alliance, league, man to man, constitution, ordinance, monarch to subjects, agreement, pledge, man to man, alliance of friendship, alliance of marriage between God and man, alliance of friendship. Covenant, divine ordin ordinance with signs or pledges. Yeah, man. And that's pretty much it because the main part that I wanted to get was alliance of marriage between God and man. And not just any man. It's the children of Israel. The Most High God, Yahweh, is married unto the children of Israel. And I'm going to get that. I'm going to explain that with the whole book of, uh, I got it queued up already, the King James Version with the Apocrypha. I'm going to explain that through Jeremiah chapter 3, verses 1 through 25. They say, if a man put away his wife and she go from him and become another man's, shall he return unto her again? Shall not that land be greatly polluted? Yeah, man, because you women, you are referred to as land. And and the man, you know, once he has sex with the woman, you know, he, he plants his seed into that woman. That's why the Most High, Yahweh, he said, be ye fruitful and multiply. And how are we going to be fruitful and multiply? You know, by giving into marriage, you know, having sex. And, you know, the man, he plants his seed into the egg of the woman, you know, and she conceives. Fruit is born, a baby. Read on. But thou hast played the harlot with many lovers, yet return again to me, saith the Lord, Yahweh. Lift up thine eyes unto the high places and see where thou hast not been lying with. In the ways hast thou sat for them as the Arabian in the wilderness, and thou hast polluted the land with thy whoredoms and with thy wickedness. Verse 3. Therefore the showers have been withholding, and there have been no latter rain, and thou hast a whore's forehead. Thou, ha thou refused to be a shame. With thou not from this time cry unto me, my father, thou art the God of my youth. Will he reserve his anger forever? Will he keep it to the end? Behold, thou hast spoken and done evil things as thou couldst. 
the Lord Yahweh said also unto me in the days of Josiah the king, Hast thou seen that which backsliding Israel have done? And when the scriptures talk about Israel, it's talking about the northern kingdom. You know, you so-called Native Americans, Hispanics, Latinos, so on and so forth. You know, all the so-called brown people. Read on. She is gone up upon every high mountain and under every green tree. And there have played the harlot. And I said, after she had done all these things, turn thou unto me. But she returned not. And her treacherous sister Judah saw it. And when the scripture talks about Judah, you know, it's talking about the southern kingdom. Judah, Benjamin, and Levi, you so-called Negroes. Read on, verse 8. And I saw, when for all the causes whereby backsliding Israel committed adultery, I have put her away. Yeah, man, the scripture tells us that the Most High, Yahweh, he turned his face from us, man. Thus causing all these harmful things to happen to us, man. Because we brought it upon ourselves. By worshiping other gods, you know, committing spiritual fornication before the Lord's face, man. Scriptures tells us that the Lord Yahweh is a jealous God. We should have no other God before him. Read on. And giving her a bill of divorce, yet her treacherous sister Judah feared not, but went and played the harlot also. And it came to pass through the lightness of her whoredom that she defiled the land and committed adultery with stones and with stocks and yet for all this her treacherous judah sister judah hath not turned unto me with her whole heart but feignedly said the lord yahweh and the lord yahweh said unto me the backsliding israel hath justified herself more than the treacherous judah go and proclaim these words toward the north and say return thou backsliding israel said the Lord Yahweh, and I will not cause mine anger to fall upon you, for I am merciful, said the Lord Yahweh, and I will not keep anger forever, only acknowledge thine iniquity, that thou hast transgressed against the Lord Yahweh, thy power, and hast scattered thy ways to the strangers under every green tree, and ye have not obeyed my voice, said the Lord Yahweh. Turn, O backsliding children, said the Lord Yahweh, for I am married unto you. See, there go that word married, man. The Lord Yahweh is married only until the children of Israel, not you other nations, man. This is not for you, man. That's why the title of this video says, Hands Off Our Bible, because this Bible the law, statutes, and the commandments were only given unto the children of Israel, none else. Read no. Turn, O backsliding children, said the Lord Yahweh, for I am married unto you, and I will take you, one of a city, and two of a family, and I will bring you to Zion, and I will give you pastors according to mine own, to mine heart. Which shall feed you with knowledge and understanding. And it shall come to pass when ye be multiplied and increased in the land in those days, said the Lord Yahweh. They shall say no more the ark of the covenant of the Lord Yahweh. Neither shall it come to mind. Neither shall they remember it. Neither shall they visit it. Neither shall that be done any more. At that time, they shall call Jerusalem the throne of the Lord, Yahweh, and all the nations shall be gathered unto it. To the name of the Lord, Yahweh, to Jerusalem, neither shall they walk any more after the imagination of their evil heart. In those days, the house of Judah shall walk with the house of Israel. Yeah, man, you, the northern kingdom and the southern kingdom is going to walk together. Because the Lord, Yahweh, he's going to send his only begotten son back, Yahweh Shah. He's going to gather us back together in which he's doing now, man. 
It says, and they shall come together out of the land of the north to the land that I have given for an inheritance unto your fathers. But I said, how shall I put thee among the children and give thee a pleasant land, a goodly heritage of the host of nations? And I said, thou shalt call me my father and shalt not turn away from me. Surely as a wife treacherously departeth from her husband, so have ye dealt treacherously with me. O house of Israel, said the Lord Yahweh. A voice was heard upon the high places, weeping and supplications of the children of Israel, for they have perverted their way, and they have forgotten the Lord Yahweh their power. Return, ye backsliding children, and I will heal your backslidings. Behold, we come unto thee, for thou art the Lord, Yahweh, our power. Truly in vain is salvation, hope for from the hills and from the multitude of mountains. Truly in the Lord, Yahweh, our power is the salvation of Israel. For shame have devoured the labor of our fathers from our youth, their flocks and their herds, their sons and their daughters. We lie down in our shame, and our confusion covereth us, for we have sinned against the Lord Yahweh our power, we and our fathers, from our youth even unto this day, and have not obeyed the voice of the Lord Yahweh our power. And that Jeremiah, you know, chapter three, it just explained, man, who the most high Yahweh is married to, man. He's not married to you other nations, man. So hands off our Bible, man. You know, that Bible is the children of Israel's heritage, man. You know? So from there, let's go to the book of Psalms, chapter 50. And one. It says, a psalm of Asaph. The mighty God, our power, even the Lord Yahweh, have spoken and called the earth from the rising of the sun until the going down thereof. Out of Zion, the perfection of beauty, God has shined. Our power shall come and shall not keep his silence. Selakia, and shall not keep silence. A fire shall devour before him. And it shall be very temp tempestuous around about him. He shall call to the heavens from above and to the earth that he may judge his people. Gather my saints together unto me, those that have made a covenant with me by sacrifice. And the heavens shall declare his righteousness, for God is judge himself. Selah. Hear, O my people, and I will speak, O Israel, and I will testify against thee. I am God, even thy power. I will not reprove thee for thy sacrifices or thy burnt offerings to have been continually before me. I will take no bullock out of thy house, nor heath goats out of thy foes, for every beast of the forest is mine and the cattle upon a thousand hills i know all the fowls of the mountains and the wild beasts of the field are mine if i were hungry i would not tell thee for the world is mine and the fullness thereof will i eat the flesh of bulls or drink the blood of goats offer unto god thanksgiving and pay thy vows unto the most high and call upon me in the day of trouble. I will deliver thee, and thou shalt glorify me. But unto the wicked, God saith, What hast thou to do to declare my statutes, or that thou shouldest take my covenant in thy mouth? Yeah, man, you know, this is asking you other nations, mainly you red Hebrew Edomites, man. You know, what What do y'all have to do with these law statutes and the commandments when they weren't even given to y'all, man? You know, when Moses came down from Mount Sinai with the two tables of stones, man, 
with the commandments on them, man. It was only the children of Israel in the midst, man. He came back and gave those two tables of stones, man, to the Israelites. You know, Esau and Edom weren't weren't there, man. They were not there. So hands off our Bible, man, you know. So we're going to get who the wicked is. And, uh, and I'm going to get Job 29. No, I'm, I'm going to get Job 9 for that precept. Job 9 and uh, verse 24. It says, the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He covers the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he? Yeah, man. You know, the earth is given into the hands of the wicked, man. And who runs the earth right now, man? You so-called white people, man. You red Hebrew Edomites, man. From the nation of Edom. Your forefather was Esau. That's who runs the earth right now, man. You Edomites. It says again, the earth is given into the hands of the wicked. He covered the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he? You know, and when you cover you when you cover the faces of the judges, mean meaning you whitewash, you know what I'm saying? You whitewash the face of Yahawashah, because the scripture clearly tells you that Yahawashah was a very, very dark skinned man, man. You know? The color of brass as if burned inside of a furnace, man. You know, Yahweh was a very dark man. And you Edomites, you know, with your iconoclasm, in which I'm going to get that word, you know. Y'all whitewash the face of Yahweh man. You know, so let's get that word iconoclast. It says, a person who attacks cherished beliefs or institutions. Number two. A destroyer of images used in a religious worship. Yeah, man, because like I say, the scripture clearly tells you in Revelations, you know, chapter uh, 21, I think, that, that chapter 21, that Yahweh, you know, skin was like polished brass as if burned inside of a furnace. You know, so why did y'all give us, you know, that red Hebrew Edomite devil to worship, man? You know, with the long stringy dog, blonde hair, blue eyes, man. You know, red skin, so-called white man. Because that went right along with your white supremacy, man. You know, you whitewash, you whitewash your Howard Shai's face, man. You know, so... Let's get, let's get, let's see what I want next. I got another word queued up. I got, I got Niger queued up. And, and the word Niger is black. A surname of Simeon. In Acts chapter 13, verse one, he probably was so called from his dark complexion. All right, so let's go and get X 13. 